I keep saying we need to go down to Washington, D.C. and shut it down. What more appropriate time to shut it down when you have a Supreme Court justice for life would infer that you were inferior. Oh yeah, you can't do this hard work. You better go to one of them southern schools down there where they, they teach y'all what y'all needs to know. You know, you can't go to Harvard or Yale or Princeton, right, huh? Huh, you can't do that, right? And what I'm saying to you simply is that, you know, someone says, what's well, up, oh, Professor Sanchez? It's okay, you know, you don't have to respond. Yes, you do. You respond to everything these subjects do. Everything they do, you respond to it, you know. Um, and we need to respond to it. Um, because some of you think, oh, I got mine already. I got my money, you know, I got my movie career. You know, I'm hot shit, you know what I mean? Nobody can touch me, ha. Huh. Right, You know, that's right, you better believe it. Because I wouldn't have said this in the 60s, but you're endangered. We're endangered. Who needs us now? Even more so. Oh, you got better believe it. And as a consequence, you know, if people have come to that conclusion they don't need you, they can shoot your children on the streets and you do nothing. Right. You know, right. and you know, thank God for these young people, you know, who are saying what they're saying. But even then, we need to tell them and talk to them about it's more than just getting in the streets. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is more than just getting in the streets, whatever. This is real, because we got in the streets, and it's still happening. So it's got to you know, take it to another degree of just getting in the streets, OK? This country said, we don't need you. We don't need you to do the work. This, and you, when you fly, what happens? You go into the bathrooms. You don't see black folks cleaning bathrooms anymore, any place. In the, in, in the department stores. No place at all. So you've gone from that level, right, whatever, you know. What do they need you for? Someone said, well, I'm a professor. Oh, yeah. What, what do you profess? You know, whatever. <laughs> and what is you going to continue to profess? Whatever. And people have replaced you anyway. Whatever. So tell me the big deal here. So I really meant it when I said we have to reimagine ourselves in this American landscape, you know, every 10 years. That's a necessity, whatever. Don't you think just because you, you got a good job and a house someplace, you know, whatever, and they put you in that idiot box constantly, you know, and you get up, if you're a woman, you go, and you go, oh, 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 and, ooh, 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 and I got talent, 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 you know. That ain't talent, that's a bunch. That's a derriere, whatever, you know, you know. You know, and that's the truth. But we think because someone gets up and can do that, that we free. That ain't freedom. <coughs> that is not freedom, whatever. And I don't know if what I can say, and I hope this film, you know, helps some of you to understand at some level, you know, that these are dangerous times. Yes. Not just because we'll, our, our children are getting killed, but because that in a place called New York City where I lived and grew up, that people are being displaced. That's right. That's right. Harlem. Yeah. Right. Harlem. Yeah. You know. And I know I'm at Columbia University and I know that they constantly whatever, but also I'm one of those people who's out in the streets against Columbia every time they expanded into the black yes. neighborhood. Yes. Oh yes we were. Yes. You know. Yes. Columbia got so smart, you know, they don't didn't do that. They invited you in. <laughs> to help you help them expand into the neighborhood. <laughs> so wise, wise country people. And I just say simply, we have to be wiser sometimes in some of this. We need you. We need your energy. We need your love. We need you to understand at some point, you know, that even though you're in the inner circle, that you're always in the idle circle, okay? You need to understand simply that this is a country that has looked at us now, and you have a Supreme Court justice who would say out loud what so many people are saying.